we're going to talk about segments in GA4. And if you're like me, and you've been poking around in GA4, and you're used to using segments in Universal Analytics, you're probably wondering, what do you mean? Because for the most part, there aren't segments in GA4. And, and that is mostly true. There are segments in explorations, but regular reporting um, no longer has um, segments and, and the capabilities that we had with segments in Universal Analytics. So let's, let's start by looking at what those capabilities are. So if we look, I'm in a Universal Analytics account for my domain to Octobers.com. And what I'm talking about here is if I want to add a segment, if I want to look at a specific type of traffic, and the example I'm going to use is visitors who landed on, on um, blog pages, because I want to compare maybe um, the performance of people who landed on the blog versus um, people who uh, landed uh, anywhere on the site. So I'm going to just show you the capabilities of segments here. Uh, we've got the uh, really incredibly p powerful ability to create a segment of users based on a variety of conditions. There can be multiple conditions. Uh, in this case, if I wanted to look at, let's say, um, the landing page and contains blog, uh, then we can see uh, pretty easy to create. And I can add other conditions, like maybe I want to look at people uh, from inside the US and outside versus outside the US. There may be other variables that I look at, I want to look at, and I can even create sequences of, of, of um, interactions and create segments from those. So one of, it's one of my favorite capabilities of Universal Analytics. And if we switch over to J4, no segments. We've got comparisons, which are really limited. I'll address that in a second. So we do, if I go to explorations, I have segments. Um, I don't, to me, that's small consolation. I find explorations, um, they're fine, uh, but there are a lot of limitations to explorations um, that I don't love. And I really want to be able to apply segments in, in regular reports. So we're going to talk about a way that you can almost uh, do everything you can do with segments in Universal Analytics. We'll look at comparisons for a second because that is the nearest equivalent. And um, so here I'm going to add a comparison and um, let's say uh, it's actually not going to go. Oh, we got landing page and query string. Um, so now I do have the ability. I could go down this list and pick one by one all of my blog pages. Uh, I don't love that. And I have to do it every time I want to add a comparison. So if I leave reporting and come back, I'm going to have to go and, and recreate that whole thing. And we have over 100 blog pages that get traffic. So it would be a pretty tedious uh, process to do that. So what can I do instead? Let me show you. Uh, I'll give you a, a little preview here, which is um, if one of the, the dimensions that I can create a comparison based on uh, is audience name. So uh, the astute among you might be thinking, oh, I see where this is headed, right? Because with audiences, we can actually do really most of the things that we could do with segments in Universal Analytics. So all I have to do is create an audience with the different conditions that I'm looking for. And I do have the ability to do uh, uh, contains um, comparisons in an audience. So let's hop over and do that. All right, so um, recently Google moved to audience definitions uh, in from configure, um, which was in the main menu over here into admin. So we're going to hop in here and I'm going to create a new audience. I'll go ahead and create a custom audience. Um, I want the, this really makes sense within the same session. And I'm going to say landing page. Uh, you'll notice there's a couple of different uh, landing page 
dimensions here. We have first visit landing page, which would be the landing page that a user landed on the first time they came to the site. So that might actually be appropriate for what I want to do. Uh, I'm, I'm going to pick um, the session scoped landing page and I'm going to add a filter. Um, you'll notice uh, if you were used to using regular expressions when you created segments in Universal Analytics and you're like, where's all my, where are my regular expressions gone in GA4? Uh, with When we're defining audiences, we can use regular expressions. So I'm not going to in this case. Uh, if you're not familiar, regular expressions is a really powerful syntax for doing specific pattern matching um, where we could do things like um, any, I don't know, uh, page that in contains a product ID um, which is a sequence of letters and numbers, and I don't have to, you know, I can create a regular expression to look for the pattern of a product ID, for example. So we'll do contains here. We're not going to use a regular expression. We don't need to, because I just want to get people that landed on blog pages. And you'll see, similar to segments in Universal Analytics, it updates to say how big my audience is, 63% of, of all users here. Another thing that I'm going to do is that, that something to keep in mind with audiences is audiences are user-based. So um, users will get added to this audience when they meet these conditions. There's a For what I'm, I'm looking at here, there's a little bit of a downside with that, which is that if a user comes to the website and lands in the blog, but then comes back later, maybe and lands on the home page, um, they're still going to be in this audience. That's how audiences work. Uh, for many segments, I don't think that's an issue. A lot of times I like to do segments based on geography, for example. Um, and really, for the most part, users are going to stay in the same geography. So, uh, so the other thing I'm going to do is increase the membership duration from 30 days to the maximum limit, which I think is 540 days. I know it's a lot longer than 30 days. And that's about it. Uh, I'm going to just be ver verbose um, and say users who landed on the blog and save that. And then I can go to the report I was looking at, which is the acquisition traffic acquisition report, and I can add my comparison, and you can say audience name, and then I can pick my users who landed on the blog, say OK, and I'm going to apply, and wah, wah, wah. So, this is a big limitation compared to segments. When I create an audience, from this point forward, users will get added to this audience, but it doesn't work retroactively the way that segments did in, in Universal Analytics. So I do need to be planful and think about the types of ways that I'm going to want to segment traffic if I'm going to use audiences in this way. Um, but yes, oh wow, that's a pretty big limitation. I, like I said, I, segments are one of my favorite features, um, and I'm at least happy that I've found a way to, to more or less recreate segments, um, even if there are a, a few limitations in comparison to Universal Analytics. So, hope that's helpful.